Hi, I'm Jason Bale with Bell Fair Academy. Today's video is on how to warm up to go play golf. Remember, one of our main goals here at Bell Fair is to get you ready to play before you ever hit your first ball. It's a great way to prevent injury and also get your round started off the right way. We've got Chris here from our uh, fitness center and he's going to show us a couple of exercises to get us rolling through a warm-up session prior to playing golf. So let's bring Chris on. Jason, how you doing? Good. Good. Uh, before we get started, I just want to say that before you start any, any uh, fitness program, make sure that you're uh, cleared by your doctor before starting. Uh, know your body and know what your limitations are before you start any exercise program. The first exercise that we're going to start with today, we call this a, a chin tuck head turn. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Jason set up where he's standing straight up and he's going to tuck his chin down into his chest. And then he's slowly going to turn his head to the right and look up. And then he's going to go back down to the tuck position and then he's going to go to the left side. And he's going to perform 10 repetitions of this exercise. Notice that Jason is standing up nice and tall, shoulders are back. He's moving in a nice, slow manner. And what I don't want you to do in this exercise is I don't want you to tilt your head back. We're, we're going to keep that head either tucked or in a neutral position as we turn. Looking good. And that's our exercise. Our next exercise we're going to do is a wrist extension and wrist flexion exercise. Jason's going to put his right hand straight out in front and he's going to open his hand up and then he's going to take his fingers and he's going to reach up towards the sky. He's going to pull back and he's going to hold that for 15 seconds. What we're doing here is we're getting the forearms loosened up, we're getting the fingers uh, supple and after 15 seconds he's going to point his fingers towards the floor. Again he's going to pull back for 15 seconds holding that stretch, keeping upright and breathing properly. Breathing properly is just taking nice deep breaths. And now Jason's going to switch to the other side. Again, we're going to do extension. We're going to hold 15 seconds. Keeping that pressure on. You don't want to go too much. You don't want to feel pain, but you want to feel a nice stretch. And then after your 15 seconds, fingers towards the ground. Hold it for 15 seconds. Good. Our next exercise, we call this uh, big ball circles, and I'm going to hand the ball to Jason. Jason's going to set up in his golf posture, and then he's going to take a nice big round circle. He's going from his left to right. He's in his golf posture. Ideally, he's keeping his upper body and his lower body as quiet as possible. He's going to do 15 repetitions. And once he gets to his 15th repetition, he'll stand up, relax, and go back in the other direction. This is a great exercise to get the shoulders loosened up and get those shoulder girdle nice and warmed up for the game of golf. You can hear Jason doing his breathing. He's got a nice rhythm. This is keeping him relaxed. Okay, good, good job. Okay, our next exercise is torso rotation. Going to give Jason a golf club. And he's going to lay it across his, the points of his shoulder. He's going to get into his golf posture and he's going to turn his torso, trying to point the club face towards the ground and then rotate the other way and point the handle towards the ground. And what we're, our objective here is to get a nice turn through the shoulders while keeping the lower body as still as possible. You should feel a really nice stretch as you go through this rotation. Now Jason's going to go side to side 12 times. Again, Jason's got his breathing pattern going good. He's, he's holding his golf posture. He's getting a nice turn. Lower body is quiet. Our next exercise is side bends. Jason's going to place Again, the club on the points of his shoulders. He's going to stand upright for this, for this particular exercise and he's slowly going to bend to his right as far as he can. 
He's going to pause and then he's going to come back up to the top and then he's going to go to the left side. During this exercise, and I'm going to just turn Jason sideways just for a moment. During the exercise, Jason is keeping his posture upright as he turns. Go ahead. Notice that Jason is coming over straight. He's not leaning forward and he's not arching his back and leaning backwards. He's getting the maximum amount of, of stretch that he can on both sides. Go ahead and turn and face the camera. Jason's going to do this for 12 repetitions. Posture's holding good, breathing's good. Very good. Okay, our next exercise is called a, called a leg pendulum. Jason's gonna stand up straight. He has two clubs out in front. And what he's gonna do with his right leg is he's gonna bring his right leg forward and bring it back and he's not touching the ground in between. And he's just gonna go back and forth again. We're working on, on the hips and getting the hips nice and loose. Jason's going to do 12 on one side. He's going to keep his posture as good as he can standing upright. He's not going to put too much pressure on the handles. Those are just there to guide him. He's not going to lean on them. And then once he does his 12 repetitions on the right, he'll, he can pause, rest, or whatever he needs to do. And then he's going to go ahead and start on the left side. Again, he's holding his posture. Nice swing. The leg is straight. Again, we're getting those hips nice and loose. And as he goes through there, as he warms up, I, I can see right now, Jason's getting a higher swing in both directions. If you're not kicking way high, don't worry about it. You'll get there. Just keep it up. Okay, our next exercise is going to be alternating toe touches. Jason is going to take a nice, comfortable stance, slightly outside shoulder width. He's going to keep the knees straight with just an ever so slight bend. We don't want to lock our knees out. He's going to bring his arms out to the sides, and then he's going to reach over with his right hand down towards his left toe, and come back up, and go back to the other side. Now Jason's pretty flexible here, so he's able to reach down and touch his toes. Don't worry if you can't, you'll get there if you just keep practicing. Just go down as far as you're comfortable with this exercise. Jason's going to do 12 touches per side. Again, the knees are slightly bent. We're not locking out. His breathing is smooth. He's getting that oxygen into the muscles and he's reaching down. He's getting a nice stretch and also he can feel this in his lower back as he stretches down. This is a great exercise to help you with your rotation. It stretches out the hamstrings and lower back. Excellent. Our next exercise is going to be hip rotation. So I'm going to hand Jason the club. Chase is going to bring it on the points of his shoulders. He's going to get into his golf posture. Nice stance. Nice straight back. And what Jason's going to do is he's going to move his hips from side to side. And the ideal here is to move the hips and keep the upper body as quiet as possible. And if you notice the club, the club is staying on plane and it's not moving. Jason, if I can get you to turn sideways so they can see from the camera how still this club is as he moves his lower body. As you can see that, that club is hardly moving at all. So if you find yourself doing this and you're turning the whole body, just slow down and regroup and tighten back up and go back to, to turning those hips. Again, what we're trying to achieve is separating the upper body from the lower body. This is a great exercise for that. He's going to do 12 twists per side. Okay, our next exercise is going to be what we call the 90-90 hip internal-external rotation. Jason is going to hold two clubs out in front like you see, and he's going to bring his right leg off the ground, and he's going to form, can I get you to turn at the camera real quick? What we're forming here, we call this 90-90, we're going to form a 90 degree angle at the knee and also here at, at the hip. Okay, face back around please. So he brings that up and Jason's going to start in the, in the internal position and he's going to externally rotate out or to his right. He's going to do 12 turns on each side. Again, what we're, we're doing here is we're opening up the hips and we're also 
creating a nice internal external rotation actually on both sides as his leg comes around the anchored leg is also internally and externally rotating he wants to hold that position so that leg stays up at 90 90 and then he's going to switch sides and we're doing 12 repetitions per side want to make sure that you keep your toes pointed straight ahead and don't allow your foot to roll out or start to turn out all right great job that's our warm-up video for how to get ready to play golf we want to thank Chris Boyd from the Belfair Fitness Center for coming over and showing us this Take this video and use it each time before you go to warm up to play golf or warm up to actually practice. Remember our goal at Belfair is to keep you playing good golf longer into life.